Let's continue. Uh, all right, let's go. Maybe the vote doesn't count. Well, it does. Okay, it does. It matters, and this election could be decided by a thousand votes, five hundred votes, it could, it, a tiny margin. So, get everyone you know to register to vote. I believe that's swap, swapthevote.com. I believe that's the, the site. If you and double check that, you, that your registration is good. Don't take it for granted. Um, I'm just being repetitive about this point because it, it is the one takeaway, more than anything, that will matter is getting those registrations. And then, and then getting everyone you know to actually vote. That is what will decide this election, especially in Pennsylvania. Oh, sure, so, I guess. Redundant, but I understand why he's being redundant, because people are stupid. So, so, so thank you, yeah. and, and, and honestly, you, 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 you want to just be a pest. Just <laughs> be a pest to everyone you know, people on the street everywhere. Vote, vote, vote. Fight, 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 vote, vote, vote. Thank you. He's usually not starstruck. You can see he's starstruck here. Uh, Elon? Yeah, he's usually not starstruck. He yeah. is here. He's tall, though. I didn't know Elon was so tall. Mm. Because Trump is about 6'3". Big what boy. a great guy, and he'd rather be making rocket ships because he'd really rather do that. There you that. go, say J.D. Vance. Nobody better. I think he's got 90% of the rockets that go up, but uh, Elon, thank you very much. Incredible, incredible. What he says is true. What he says is true. You know, we're all having fun here tonight, but if we Pause, don't say register this. and if we don't... Um, you see J.D. Vance over there. I was pleasantly surprised by the vice president debate. The vice presidential debate it was actually way higher IQ than the presidential debate. He did well. Um, both Tim Waltz and J.D. Vance are both far more intelligent than their presidential counterparts. Though I do like Trump, um, but uh, you know, they're just better spoken and uh, better at articulating their points and kind of giving the nuance of, of certain things. I mean, I get it. You know, Kamala Harris and Trump—they're more the brand, yeah. right? So they're coming in on a more. This is the face. We're gonna engage in Did more market in. more yeah certain antics and stuff like that they're eating the cats and dogs that's what everyone remembers and from the end of the debate yeah right versus like the pre the vice presidential debate i, I watch i want all you guys to watch it if you haven't seen it already i reacted to it way higher iq conversation than the presidential debate that's funny man so you've been running this podcast for four years talking to broads all day and you're shocked that the presidential debate with low iq no no i mean <laughs> I, I knew it was going to be bad but uh you know, I, I think Trump could have done better, personally. I was a little disappointed. Slam dunk. I think he won, but I don't think it was the decisive victory. Um, because, so, okay, this is what I noticed from the debate. People that like Trump are going to like him more from the debate. Cool. People that like Kamala are going to like her more from the debate. Cool. The people that support who they're going to support, are gonna, they're, they just dig their heels deeper. I support them even more now. Cool. But the people in the middle, the independents, the people that are undecided, etc. We didn't pull them to Trump. I would argue, if anything, though I think Trump won, Kamala pulled more of those people from the middle to her than we pulled from the middle to Trump. And the reason for that is because Trump is extremely polarizing. And unfortunately... The narratives about him have gone so big that people believe the bullshit narratives, right? Um, and unless you do research, you're not going to know. For example, there's a lot of people on the left that still honestly think that Trump is against abortion. That's not true. There's still a lot of people out there that believe that he supports Project 2025. That's not true. So if you're not a research voter and you don't know what's going on, you're going to believe a lot of the lies that Kamala told, or you're going to believe the mainstream narratives that are said about Trump. And let's be honest, a lot of Americans are stupid. And this might have been the first time that they've seen either party talk publicly. Remember, guys, the American public in general doesn't give a fuck about politics like that. They kind of tune in here or there, but like the most educated, uh, the, the majority of voters are not educated. So that was probably the first time watching both parties talk at the same time in a public forum. So I think in that situation for a normie, they're going to think Kamala won. But anyone that has half a brain knows that Trump is a better candidate. Does that make sense? We didn't pull enough people over from the middle is my issue. I get you but saying. I think J.D. Vance's debate with Waltz brought in some of those people that were in the middle to us. 
Because he's way better articulate. Uh, he's a yo graduate, but at the same time, he represents the Midwest in the Rust Belt. So he's able to talk the Ivy League, posh, polished, proper English, while simultaneously saying, hey, look, I'm in the military. Or I was, I'm a former Marine. I've served this country. I went to war. Uh, I, I'm an entrepreneur as well. I, I'm from the Midwest. I'm like you. Right? So he's able to kind of hit both sides. Yeah. Because the thing that the that Trump lacks is the posh and the refinement that politicians of before had. If you look at the Mitt Romney and Obama debate from 2012, right? Because I would say that's the last time we had like a super professional presidential debate. Mm. That's what the vice president, the, the vice presidential debate was with Waltz and JD Vance was, and they were super nice to each other. Like JD Vance talked about how he felt sorry that his son was involved in a, a victim of a school shooting. Waltz is a liar, though, bro. Uh, <laughs> I think they land all over the place. Yeah, he was. He was. Yeah, He's he, was, he was deceptive. Yeah, he got caught up. Heavy. Yeah, yeah, but but the thing is, is that JD Vance showed him compassion. You know what I mean? Yeah. And there was like a a, a great level of professionalism in the debate. So. That debate actually brought me back to 2012, and I was like, oh, yeah, I remember when politicians used to, like, actually be cordial and be polite and shit like that. So, yeah. I think Kamala, not by merit, but just by being there and with and standing her ground, won that debate. Because, like, like you said you earlier. You think she won? I'll tell you why. Oh, not because of her debating skills. It's because she was able to make Trump have to respond to her. And remember, she's a woman. So what is the audience going to do? Because remember, they don't think for themselves. Well, he's, he's bullying her. He's trying to make her look bad. She's calling her, her composure and responding in the right way. So they're going to say, okay, those people in the middle, she actually stood her ground and they backed down from Trump. So by that alone, women are first. Women are right. She's pushing them towards her campaign. But do you think she won? Me personally, no. But by default, she won. By even being there and standing her ground, she won. Because remember, Trump's people are going to vote for him anyway. Okay, okay, okay. Let me make sure I get this right. So, you think Trump won, but you think Kamala won the public opinion because she pulled those middle oh, audience right. to her because Man, she you said this the same thing I said. So, guys, quick word from our sponsor, real fast. You know, we don't mess around when it comes to leveling up, and that goes for your coffee, too. If you're still drinking that sugary shit, you already started your morning off wrong. 1775 Coffee's protein creamer is what real men use to start their day 10 grams of whey protein per serving designed to build muscle and boost metabolism. Most people are tossing whey protein into their coffee, but we took it a step further and made a creamer with whey protein already built in, no added sugar, just protein. They just dropped this protein creamer along with a whole new lineup. In addition to the classic dark and medium roast, you'll find new coffee pods and a brain-boosting mushroom blend that'll have you focused like a sniper locked in on CNN. Don't start your morning funding the woke mob and dumping garbage into your body. Do it right with 1775 Coffee. Use code FRESH to get 15% off. Guys, I'm drinking 1775 Coffee right now, man. As we walk it like we talk it over here, guys. And they got one that has a protein blend, man. So definitely go show them support. Shout, Shout out to 1775 you. Coffee. I said that because her audience, right? <laughs> typically is women of course because she's a woman but those in the middle that aren't that i want to say educated on politics itself they're gonna say okay well trump hasn't shown us that he is like slam dunked her but our our feelings are telling us listen she held her own and remember once again feelings go a long way with women and a lot of not, not smart voters. Yeah, I mean, because I saw Democrats on Twitter saying that she she won. Like, they all said that she won, and the Trump supporters said that she won. And the majority of so, people, what are they? The majority of people. Oh, people voting? Yeah. Yeah, it's women, mostly now. So, by default, Unfortunately. even though she gets, she, she she was there and she didn't win by the debate, her standing her ground and staying there and responding and making him have to answer to her, she won their side is what I'm trying to say. She had an earpiece in her ear telling her exactly what to say. And it was actually not one-on-one. -on -one, it was three-on-one. It was. It, it, the moderators are always on the Trump. Democratic side. So even for Trump to be like, oh, it looks like he was even, he won because it's always three-on-one. People always got to take that into account. Well, no, no, no. To us, he won. But to the mass public, he didn't win. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, like, I, we, I get we, you we what you're saying. Think, how, like, how do they think? So I'm, I'm looking at their lens. You know what? Why would they say that she won? I see why she's because again she appealed to the people in the middle that weren't sure where to go. Brother Trump and Camilla is just like a Muslim and a Christian debating. All the Christians are going to say the Christian one. Yes. All the Muslims are going to say the Muslim one. Yes. It, it, it's no different. It's absolutely no different. 
Yeah. I just think uh, the people that are in the middle are going to probably lean towards Kamala, unfortunately, because well, most Americans are stupid. But who's winning now? Trump. Yeah, I think he's winning in the polls. Yeah, he's winning but now. But the, the, the problem with the polls is they're so unstable. And yeah. then the other thing, too, the people that are in the polls aren't necessarily the niggas that are going to show up and vote. Like, way yeah. more people turn out and vote. Yeah. Then are in the polls. I know you're not for gambling, but this is the one time you trust the gamblers because you don't look at the polls. You look at who has the money on who. And right now it's 51 percent Trump, 49 percent Harris in the money in the books. So, yeah. Well, um, well, well go ahead. we what had a, a, a podcast with um, Andrew and Haas, right? Remember I brought up that it doesn't matter if we think a certain way because the masses believe that their feelings are engaged with Kamala and her campaign has been what all about emotions and feelings yeah so that's what I'm saying the like Democrats do and definitely even though she didn't slam the, the, the debate her stand her ground she has a leverage that's what I think yeah um okay th there's so, yeah th I will say this no matter what this election is gonna be very close yeah I think this thing is gonna be extremely close um, yeah, right now we got Trump at 54 and Kamala at 45. Oh, shit. Really? No, that's a bias poll. Yeah. And that, well, that's from unwokeness. That's a bias. He's, he's extru extremely... Um, and, those and are the betting odds right now. Th that's what... Look oh, at those the, are the betting odds. odds. Those are the oh, betting those are betting odds? odds? Oh, okay. Oh. That you can trust. If it's the betting odds, because that's where people are actually putting their money. Yeah. Not their heart, not what they all feel, where their hard-earned money's at. That you can trust. But hold on, Gary. Who's betting? Men or women? I mean, Man I, I would imagine. The majority of uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. point, actually. Yeah, yeah. You, so, you, so, you're so, right. Point, actually. So, no, see, this is this problem with politics, right? We put our biases on a people's opinions. You can't do that. It has to be an even playing field where, you know what? Out of my feelings, what are they What are they thinking? When you go down that route, you, can, you get to see the bottom line foundation. They're going to think to themselves, you know what? Yes, women are the majority voters. They're not, they're not going to bet money more. They're going to bet their feelings on the person, not their money. Yep. So, th this is good. But is it reality? No, it's not reality. When it comes to betters, uh, the successful ones don't take feelings into account. Yeah, I mean, the, the betters are account. accounting for the women's feelings. You know, you know, but so. I see your perspective. You're saying most of betters are men. Yeah. So they might have a little bit of bias. But I see Gary's point where it's like, well, yeah, they're men, but they also want to make money. So they're going to account for a good better, at least in this situation, yeah. would account for females' volatility of feelings. or Hopefully. Or who they're going to vote for. But yeah, a majority of women are obviously going to vote for Kamala. Unfortunately. See, the problem is, if they can market to women to sell them anything, they can market to women to sell them Kamala. Well, Kamala, I would argue, has done a better job at campaigning than Trump has. Yeah. Look at her campaign. I, 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 she I, I will Quavo, give her that. Make the Stallion. Yeah. Taylor Swift. Bro, her Taylor catalog of people her. she brought to that's endorse her. That's Taylor Swift endorsed her. I'll kid you not, bro. She's th either he's, she's not done with the marketplace herself or her team is. She want to call her daddy? Actually, let's pull that up. Yeah. She wanted the fucking Call Her Daddy podcast, bro. Holy. But notice. But she, she still won. She, she did that for a reason. She declined. You know who? Dave she, Ramsey podcast. Remember. Oh, he would have grilled her. Dave said he wants to interview Trump and Kamala to do a fair, unbiased approach to the actual election. If I were wrong, I want to go on Dave Ramsey either. Hold on. But you know why? He was going to destroy her. Yeah. Her, of was course. He? Her financial plan for America is bullshit. So he's going to break down, okay, so what about this? What about that? She would have been destroyed. So she knows what... She's not dumb. I'll give you that. She's not dumb. Her handlers aren't dumb. She's dumb as hell. <laughs> Stop. Okay, <laughs> that's fair. I mean, that's if I were her, I would have gone Dave Ramsey either. Yeah. He don't, he don't got enough clout for me to go over there. Well, Trump went. You don't think Ramsey has enough clout? Dude, that's Ramsey's a big name, bro. Remember, no, America... No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Be before you say anything, America goes to Ramsey for financial advice so when he says listen i believe well he's, he's kind, of kind of retired now but still the channel's still there they're gonna go to him and say you know what all right what is, what's your take on the finance on the current election for finances he's gonna say you know what i interview both trump all the way that's gonna pull some voters towards trump or kamala wherever he bends to so that right there it might not be what beneficial I, what i'm saying is what i'm saying well, is that right. ramsey do doesn't have enough clout for kamala to take that risk that's okay. what i'm saying okay like for Kamala to go on his podcast, which is clearly going to be adversarial, mm. and is it really her demographic of voter that she even wants to go to? Mm. It's it's not his level of uh, clout is not worth the risk that it br brings. Does that make sense? Okay. Whereas if she goes on to Rogan, he might challenge her a bit, but that's that that's worth the risk going on to Rogan. But Rogan won't put her on or Trump. Yeah, which I think is stupid. But see, but that's fine. <laughs> 
I'd rather think, just interview his friends. He does have. I think he does have a little <laughs> like bit of Like for though. the 20th time. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, how many times can you talk about Flat Earth with Eddie Bravo, bro? Come on, man. But he doesn't want to get involved because he doesn't want to pull yeah. inside either way. Remember, his influence is huge. Yeah, but just bring everybody. That's just how, how you get around. That's how you get around it. Like, bring both. Literally talk to both. He, but he, I think he's. He could have moderated debate between I them. I think he's more biased, though. He, 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 he's like everyone else. Who was like a far left, left wing nut, just like Elon ten years ago, and now the pendulum has swung so hard yeah. the other way. Those left wing nuts from ten years ago now look like they're moderates or conservatives. It's like the Twilight Zone. I call the Tim Pool test. Mm. Yeah. I literally call the Tim Pool test. Like Tim Pool was like considered a raging liberal like now 10, considered... 10 years ago. Now he's considered alt right, which is fucking <laughs> hilarious to me. Because I would say, if anything, he's more center. He's more center right, probably. Okay, guys here on, on the actual panel right now, who you got to win and why? Trump. Be Sorry, go ahead. Uh, well, the most important thing men can do is convince women to vote for Trump. What, what I don't want is people to go on Twitter, go on Spaces, talk about Trump, 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 and then your woman, your wife, your girlfriend, your daughter cancels out your damn vote. Mm. Okay? What, if I don't want you screaming at people. Convince the women in your life. To vote for Trump, which is something that should be automatic anyway, convince the women in your life to do that, and guess what? Trump got this election sealed in the bag.